y'all niggas know what it is. You know we get the back. Don't you find it strange that in the black community, we can watch individuals align themselves up to people and somehow magically feel that means that person is worth a damn. We'll skip all of the information about said individuals that would give you red flags and everybody will fall in line with worshiping bullshit. Now, some will dismiss the fact that yet another one of Dr. York's protégés have been caught up in these sexual abuse allegations. Yet the moment I start hearing people using this cult word so freely and bypass all of the cult-like behaviors we've seen programmed throughout so many of these influencers who've made their way onto the Hollywood scenes to flex their influence. How can you bypass how the black community is so beaten down that they're willing to gravitate towards some of these devious teachings and ignore the red flags? Now, a takeaway that I want to give you from this video is how strange I found it when I realized some individuals who found themselves around R. Kelly also found themselves in this Nuwapian cult, and nobody wants to talk about the strange and weird connections within that, especially when we use so-called star witnesses from his previous trial to garner a janky conviction this time around and everybody skip the major emphasis I've brought. Now quite naturally you can't make all kind of bogus allegations against people based on the people that hang around them or may tell people they're in their inner circle. However, you must take note of these strange occurrences when you see people who once came out here fiercely defending York for example only to be caught up in their own allegations. Now it's going to be pretty hard to run with the conspiracy that the man set up Brother Polite and considering the evidence that they put out that they had, it's going to be hard to debunk the facts. Yet of course we know that Polite has a lot of loyal followers, some who've even come out here proclaiming that these charges were dropped. But as we have heard, Brother Polite took a plea deal in which he's going to be serving seven years and get ten years of probation. So for taking the innocence of a young child, this man gets seven years. I guess he ain't got as many assets as others considering that's like a slap in the wrist for the charges they originally brought against him which carried 20 to 30 years. Now it's funny how a lot of people from the conscious community have turned their backs on Polite even though he's still going to have a great number still supporting him. But what are your thoughts on this topic? And do you think that more people from the conscious community are going to be exposed in similar charges?